The Week 8 NFL Monday night matchup between the Steelers and the Giants shapes up to be a real snooze fest, folks. But somebody has to win. Somebody has to cover. A total either has to go over or under. And you might want to look at even looking outside the box to come up with a winner in this game. And I've done that as well. So I got a couple different ways I want to attack this game and give you a couple different options on uh, what to do. And before I get to that, just a friendly reminder, folks, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. 100% free. And uh, while you're at it, after you subscribe, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. Also, there's a like button. Well, that's for me and that's for you. So hit that like button, folks. It's just a small token of appreciation for the work that I do on Wager Talk TV. And uh, again, I've said this on a couple of occasions throughout the course of my four NFL free pick videos I've released so far. And that's the fact that you might want to consider hitting the like, even if you're on the fence, because I've gone 16 and four with my NFL free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV since week three. So a lot of good stuff. And I'll get to some special offers and what I got going on this weekend at Wager Talk on the premium side. But before I do that, let's get to the game at hand. And uh, again, I said it shapes up to be a snooze fest. There's a total in this game of 36 and a half. Certainly indicates that as well. Um, the New York Giants have played 6-1 and one to the under this year. And 3-0 and oh to the under if the total was 42 or less in those three games Average just the combined 33.7 points per contest. As anemic as the Giants' offense has been this season, the defense has played respectable. As a matter of fact, the New York Giants' defense, they're only allowing 317.4 yards per game this season. The last two games uh, for the Giants, speaking of anemic offense, uh, both occurred at home. They lost 17-7 to to Cincinnati and 28-3. to to Philadelphia, and their offense hit rock bottom last week against the Eagles, uh, not only being held to three points, but how about just 119 yards of total offense? That's absolutely brutal uh, by any standards, college football or the NFL. Uh, since Brian Dable has taken over as head coach of the New York Giants prior to the 2022-2023 season, the Giants have played 11 and 1 to the under in non conference games. And that includes 7 and 0 to the under the last two years in non conference games. Pittsburgh is coming off a 32 13 win versus the New York Jets last week. And it's considered an upset. Why? Because the uh, Steelers, despite the fact that having a superior record than the Jets, were a home underdog of plus two and a half. And since last year, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have played 6-1 and one to the under immediately following a straight-up underdog win. The Pitt defense has been just absolutely phenomenal this year, allowing just 14.4 points per contest and less than 300 yards per game. Brian Dable, uh, here's the second angle I'm going to look at this. And what I'm building up to here, folks, I made a lot of, I think I've made a case for the total. Although I hate going under a total this low, but it's that low for a reason. Let's look at this from another angle. Brian Dable is 13 and four against the spread since taking over as head coach of the Giants. Uh, 13 and four ATS and 11 and seven straight up as an underdog of between three and a half to nine and a half points. What the Giants are in this particular uh, uh, instance, also. Uh, Dable is eight and one ATS with the Giants and five and three straight up when coming off a division loss like the Giants are coming off last week at home against Philadelphia. Uh, Pittsburgh is coming off that upset win versus the Jets. They have Washington and Baltimore up next, two teams that are five and two. And in between, they got the uh, lowly New York Giants coming in that they probably are chomping at the bit, especially defensively with the anemic. Uh, the strugglings, the struggles, I should say, of the Giants' offense. Uh, it's a potential flat spot for Pittsburgh, but I'm just not 
really sold on the fact. You look, it is a potential flat spot, but I just think that I don't trust the Giants right now, the way they're playing offensively, and especially against an elite defensive team. However, they have gone two and one on the road this year with their only loss coming to Washington, 21-18. So they played pretty well on the road. So where am I going with this? I never play teasers. Very, very seldom. I shouldn't say never. Very rarely. But I'm willing to make an exception here in this type of game. Uh, a 6.2 team teaser on the Giants plus the 12 and under 42 and a half on a two team six point teaser. Now, some of you may find difficulty in being able to play that at some of your sports books that don't allow you to use a two team teaser in uh, the same game. If that's the case, I would make a very small bet on going under the total of 36 and a half. I really liked it at 39. Uh, that was the opening number, but it's come down to 36 and a half. Um, so that's the reason why I would take the under if you have no other option and you can't play the two team teaser, but even more so on the two team teaser folks, we lost some value going from 39 to 36 and a half on the under so we pick it back up by getting another six points to bump it up to 42 and a half. And as I alluded to, the Giants have been pretty good on the road. They've been very good in uh, non-conference games under Brian Dable. And uh, Pittsburgh, it's a look, can be a look-ahead spot with Washington and Baltimore up next. And then, uh, of course, coming off that big Monday night win over the Jets last week as an underdog. So, uh, two team teaser, New York Giants plus 12, under 42 and a half. That's a six point teaser. And also, folks, um, if you can't do that teaser, then I would suggest a very small bet on under 36 and a half in this contest. All right. Be sure to go to my um, personal link at Wager Talk, which is wt.buzz RB. My college football has been absolutely crushing it for the last year and a half. I'm coming off my first losing week in college football in six weeks last week, which means I'm going to bounce back strong this week. And if you're seeing this video in time, I got six college football picks up for Saturday, including a 5% uh, best bet. Also, Sunday in the NFL, event, anywhere from three to five bet, uh, picks on Sunday in the NFL. I'm coming off my first losing Sunday in the NFL over the last four weeks. So it's a bounce back spot for me again in the NFL on Sunday and uh, a lot a lot of great specials going on at Wager Talk uh, right now, wagertalk.com for all of us. Uh, but particularly, I like to be a little bit selfish and I would hope you would take advantage of those offers, my daily picks or subscription plans over at uh, wt.buzz slash RB. Until the next time, have a great weekend, folks. Make a lot of money, and I'll see you next week.